for a gift to make for somebody, these coasters are a great idea. They're easy to make, very inexpensive, and they're impressive when they're done. I like to use origami paper because it looks very rich and expensive, but you can use any kind of a scrapbooking paper or even a photograph printed on um, heavy printer paper um, if you'd like. For this project, you will need 12 craft sticks, the popsicle stick size, origami paper, tape, scissors, paintbrush, Mod Podge, an X-Acto knife, glue, varnish, and something to protect your work surface. Lay nine of the sticks side by side and then make sure that each side is straight. Cut a piece of tape that's a little longer than your sticks and carefully tape all the sticks together, making sure that they stay straight. Flip the sticks over and fold the tape under so that it holds it steady on your wax paper or whatever you're covering your work surface with. Cut the paper to fit the width of the sticks and leave a little bit of the ends of the sticks sticking out on each side about a quarter of an inch. Remove the paper from the sticks. You're going to put a coat of Mod Podge directly onto the sticks. Do a thin even coat and make sure that you cover the whole thing thoroughly. Stick the paper onto the Mod Podge surface right side up. Before you stick it completely down, make sure that you've got it perfectly centered on the sticks. Rub the paper to release any air bubbles and to make sure it's thoroughly stuck down to the wood. Now you're going to put a thin coat of Mod Podge over the top of the paper. Make sure to get the ends of the sticks as well to seal those edges of the paper down. Once the Mod Podge is completely dry and you need to make sure it's 100% dry or this part isn't going to work very well, flip it over and re carefully remove the tape. Now you're going to cut the sticks apart. The easiest way to do this is to fold each stick over so that you kind of break the paper between the two sticks and then use an X-Acto knife with a sharp blade and carefully cut in between the sticks. Make sure that you cut on a surface that won't be damaged by your X-Acto knife. Be sure to keep the sticks in the correct order as you cut. Flip the sticks over to the wrong side, but be sure and keep them in the correct order. As you flip them, you want to arrange them so that there's just a little gap in between each stick. You want to keep the sticks even on each side and evenly spaced. Take your time with this. You can use a couple extra sticks to help you even out the sides. Now you're going to lay one of the sticks down on the left edge, just not even half an inch, between a quarter and a half an inch from the left edge. This is to make sure that your sticks are evenly spaced. Do the same thing for the right side and make sure everything looks spaced the way you want it. Now you're going to add a good coat of glue to a third stick to place in the middle. This is the stick that's going to hold everything in place. Place it down carefully. 
press it down and then you can arrange the sticks again slightly if you need to. Now you can carefully lift the two sticks on the end and glue those down in place as well. Let the glue dry before you move on to the next step. Take the coaster outside and on a protective surface, varnish both sides according to the directions on the can. Once the varnish is completely dry, you're ready to give them as a gift. I've got lots of different craft and gift ideas on my channel, so be sure and subscribe so you don't miss an episode.